Hey guys, what is going on? So I just wanted to give an update on my cutting progress, how I've been progressing in the gym in terms of my strength numbers, muscle, everything like that. So basically I gave an update fairly recently talking about, you know, my first couple of weeks, I took off a couple pounds of fat, added one pound of lean body mass. Uh, this is to be expected. And this is kind of like a recomp just because I'm coming off of not really training. I wasn't on creatine or terkestrone or anything like that. Now that I'm back on all that stuff, as I'm getting my muscle back, getting my strength numbers back, it makes sense that I would gain lean body mass. So basically, um, since then on that way, and I think I was 226 and a half, something like that. And recently I've been weighing in at 228, 229. And I've been in a deficit. I've been, you know, expending a decent amount of calories, still eating a decent amount, but I'm just kind of going on a slow cut here. And I would assume that that is lean body mass that has been gained. Now I did not do a scan today. I kind of forgot. Uh, I already ate and everything like that. But the reason I wanted to come on here and, and talk about my progress is because there's been a substantial increase in my strength numbers over just the past like week or so. Um, so basically been ramping my strength back up, been doing some strength training, a little bit more focus on strength training than just bodybuilding like I was doing before. But I have been doing my two workouts a day, which to some may seem overkill. That's just kind of how I train. Um, I kind of do it in a cyclical nature. But I was getting back in the gym and just my strength numbers were not there. It took a very, you know, sharp hit, which I usually am not accustomed to. But considering I spent all that time not really training, I guess it makes sense. And I was kind of training sub-maximally before that just due to injuries. So just kind of a setback there. Um, as I got back on creatine and everything like that, gaining some more weight, which again, I do assume to be muscle. But today I did a 285 AMRAP set and I got 11 reps. Um, to put this into context, just maybe two weeks ago, if not even that, I tried to do 265 for an AMRAP and I got 11. So I basically put on 20 pounds to that number. Now this is not me putting on, you know, 20 pounds in my bench. This is just me ramping my strength back up. Um, another number that I hit last week, which I'm assuming is better now, obviously I didn't try it today, but I will in the future. Um, I tried to hit 315 for as many as I could, and I only got four reps, which, you know, even before Turkestron, I was able to get five. And so I'm guessing that number has gone up as well. So my maximum when I was on Turkestron was seven reps. So I'm hoping to at some point get eight in the future. Now, again, I am ramping things up slowly. It's going to take some time, but I do think that, you know, now that I've been taking creatine for a while, we're starting to get back into the groove of things in terms of, you know, benefits of creatine, water weight, um, getting back in the gym, protein, everything like that, just kind of um, coming back. So it seems like I'm losing fat, gaining muscle, a true recomp, and I am back on Tercesterone. If you guys remember last time, it took me just about a month to start seeing any results on Tercesterone. So it seems like just over the past couple days is when I've kind of started to see my strength return to a pretty significant degree. Now, it has been slow, um, but it seems like it's been ramping up here um, pretty recently. So I'm pretty excited about that. Hopefully I can hit some PRs here pretty soon. I'm not really planning on it, but I will, you know, see where it goes, see uh, how this new training, you know, where it takes me. So strength and numbers are coming back. Muscle is coming back. You know, water weight is likely getting there. I feel quite lean at uh, currently about 228, 229. Um, and I am expecting to just slowly lose fat over time. So numbers have been going up. I'm pretty confident about that. In terms of OHP, that's something I haven't been focusing on quite as much, but that seems like it could potentially be in PR territory. Um, I haven't been doing a ton of squats recently, but I have been doing some leg stuff. So maybe there's a PR down the line there, but this is very encouraging considering I haven't even been back to training for a month yet. And, um, you know, like I said, with Tercestrone before, it seemed like it took about a month to really start to kick in. So um, we'll see what happens there. But numbers are going up on a cut. Um, and again, I do think that I will be able to hit some PRs, not only in terms of PRs that I, you know, didn't get a chance to hit while I was on Tercestrone before, but I think I can actually get even stronger than I was back then and potentially reach an all-time high in terms of lean body mass, in terms of strength that I've never experienced before. And again, this is on a cut. So um, just kind of want to reinforce that idea of having that mentality. 
not going into a cut thinking you're going to lose all your strength and all your size, especially if you're going to be trying something like ectosterone or tricosterone or any of these things, you know, with me, those could potentially make it so that a cut is a little bit easier. So if that gives you the confidence, you know, that's cool. I'm not recommending that you try that, but that is the approach that I've had on my cuts in the past is just, okay, I'm going to get stronger on this cut. I'm not going to lose my strength. And so far it has been working and I have been getting stronger, but again, I'm just kind of regaining some of that strength and that size that I already had. So, um, anyway, that's all I got to say about that. I'll keep you updated and I'll talk to you soon.